Hello everyone and hello Sirthas to a brand new episode. I'm Bobby Fly and today we are playing Troy the Total War Saga and we're playing as King Sarbidon of Lycia against our opponents. Basically insofar we've managed to eradicate all of our opponents. Yes, to eradicate all of our opponents um, in Asia Minor and we are pushing our agenda into becoming the Annex of Rhodes, the King of Rhodes. And let's end our turn now and let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't have a particular goal in mind. I really want to see how I can successfully meddle into the trade affairs of others because it's mm, part of our quest. So we are trusted friends with the Carians and they are asking for more things. Is that better? Well, worth it. Uh, the Bernans have ended their um, agreement with us. I don't mind. I'm not feeling threatened by them. Okay. This looks bad now. <laughs> Let's see. So we can have high casualties. A close defeat. Let's sacrifice to the gods. Okay, we got good omens. Let's retreat for now. Okay, we got a faction-wide influence. The cult level up of Athena has increased. Little by little, Troy has recovered from the earthquake sent by Poseidon to tear down its ramparts. Troy's garrison is functional once more and artisans have patched most of the damage to its mighty walls. The city is safe for now, but there is no telling when the ill-tempered Olympian will strike again. For now that the battlements again stand proud, the fury of the god of the deaths will surely return unabated. Thank Thankfully they didn't sacrifice to Cthulhu or anyone. Okay, so Tripodiske, go and spread the murmurs of sedition to Arcasia. Wounded? Oh man. Ah, it was a critical failure. They caught you. Come on. Okay, oh, this one needs to proceed here, and ah, and Sarpidon will help him. I cannot. What can you not? Stay together. Let battle commence. Okay, if we go to battle, he will help us. Dive them yes. Back. Should we go a lot? Should we go an all in? It, it's gonna be a Cadmian victory. Are we in a hurry? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Let's carry on with the siege, really. What's that? That's a total labor force. It used to construct siege engines for use in the upcoming assault, the Sajigar army. Cool. So, yeah. And let's maintain the siege. So it's gonna take seven turns, and one turn until supplies run out and garrison start suffering attrition. Continue the siege. I don't feel threatened by them at all. 
Cool. Relafkos has moved. Cool. Royal decree available. Minus 8% construction cost of all civil buildings faction wide. Plus 1 to siege holdout time. Yeah. Divine Architects, minus 5 to wood construction costs, minus 10 to construction costs of all temple buildings. Cool. Military Architects, minus 7 to construction costs of all military buildings, minus 5 to recruitment costs of all missile units. Are oh, real hunters? That's good, actually. Plus 10 to growth, minus 12 to recruitment costs of all light infantry units. Yeah, medium infantry, costs for all agents. Heavy infantry. Marching drills. Glorious share. To those yearning for service, I decree prove your loyalty by swearing fealty before the gods. This one. Oath of Allegiance, because now that we have Athena on level 3, so we worship her a lot, we'll be able to recruit a Gorgon. Let's see what a Gorgon is now. I'm really interested. <clears throat> so, a Gorgon... The three Gorgons were powerful mythological figures whose origins are as ancient as Zeus himself. They were depicted as hideous women with the hair of living snakes and such dreadful faces that men could, would turn to stone at a mere glance. Legend claims the great Perseus slayed the Gorgon Medusa, avoiding her petrifying stare by looking at her in the reflection of his shield. The hero later gave the monster's head to Athena, who, according to Homer, fixed it to her mighty Aegis shield. In the Iliad, the replica of the terrifying visage also adorned Agamemnon's shield throughout the Trojan War. And they have three things, so petrifying gaze, targeting an enemy army, frightening visage, targeting an enemy settlement, or horizon of curses, when passing in the field, the Gorgon incites large-scale fear and panic in nearby enemies, hindering the movement of all rival armies within the region. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Every All these actions remove the Gorgon. Well, this one is a passive, that's why it doesn't. So, we can target an enemy air enemy or an enemy settlement. So, the, the Gorgons are not much needed now. But... I don't see any enemies around. Again, can I... Unless we use her on the next island. Let's try to do that. Let's try to recruit Philonoi. Wow, but we are we will be losing a lot of food. Okay, first of all. We definitely need support from the Karians, okay. Paris, you've got a lot of food. Let's negotiate. May your visit fulfill both our hopes. Barter agreement. I need your food. Don't know how much. Can you give me a thousand? Or five hundred? Cool. We can go with five hundred. I can give you... I can give you... Stone. I can give you 50 stone if you wish. Or 70. 74. 77. Or 76. Yeah. Cool. How does it sound? Um, I'll definitely be needing your contribution here, Paris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Yes, exit the negotiations. So, mm, um, I don't think I'm gonna recruit the Gorgon right now because these, the, the 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 food output that we have is quite negative, and I don't want to make it 
even more severe. Okay. Cleodoros? Cleodore, can you give me something? So, barter agreement. I need food. Really, like, really badly. And you need stone. 77. Cool. Can we can we go with that? I will. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay. Cool. We're done with that. What about the armies? So Vlavkus hasn't moved, I don't mind saying so yeah, cool. Everything looks okay. Seat of descent. You may wish to reconsider. Ah, because he's part of the. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I think. I sh uh, now that I'm thinking, I shouldn't have uh, brought Glavkos in right now. Okay. <laughs> Check this out here. We're still. Oh, we're gaining influence now. Cool. Finally. And we'll be needing a cut level of three with Poseidon, right? Later on. Can we build a Norse smelter? A Norse smelter, mmm. Plus five percent to all resources in this province. As in Plus 20 to food or something and bronze and... Mm. Cool, let's build it. Wow, there are so many things here to build. Well, generally speaking, Rhodes has so many things, so many things that can be built. Cool, so the Lelegan influence has is increasing right now, which is good. Okay, let's proceed by ending our turn. I'm really looking forward to the next turns because I want to finally, finally uh, occupy that island. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa. You're asking for too much, aren't you? Okay, let's let's discuss. Let's discuss. So, I don't want your. Oh, you you can give me wood. Cool. Let's make it forty. Yeah. You were asking way too much, my friend. Whatever, that I come my here, just do your thing, really. Most of the time what I'm doing, I'm actually establishing some sort of relationship with the Pereans, and then, after quite some time, they just break everything. Drought. Your farmers report that the, re the season is unusually dry, which is threatening to undo their hard work. Okay, ask for help. Or rely on fishing. There is now too much work for the fishermen of your coastal towns. There is scarcely an opportunity to rest before heading out to bring in the sea's bountiful harvest once more, leading to a disgruntled mumbling amongst your fishermen. Let's do this. This will decrease our happiness faction-wide. I don't... 
I do mine now. Oops. Uh, part of me thinks I shouldn't have done that really. Okay, happiness is a thing now. Let's get back to the to the games, people. Back to the games it is. Organize some games. Just you know, some bread and circuses, until you forget what what has happened. This will this will just stay for four turns, so I don't feel threatened by. Should I build a vineyard here? What's that? Centaur planes! Oh yes, let's do this! Cool! So Glafka's got a rank, I don't know why. Cool. So, mm, this is great. So, he's a generous host. He will give growth and happiness to his province, which is fantastic. Do you know what? Why not? Just build a winemaker. And be done with it, so we won't be having a problem. Um, so melassa can be uh, improved, and it will be improved. Atrax has moved. Cool. So what shall we do here? Shall we invade? Shall we invade? Let battle commence. Yeah, the balance of power is disproportionate, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, optimistic. Let's uh, auto resolve this. A decisive victory. Cool. Let's occupy Arcasia. This place is ours. Cool. He did the call. An understanding, An understanding heart makes brothers of friends, binding men together in common purpose and shared enterprise. You reinforced your own forces multiple times, plus 10 to campaign movement, plus 5 to battle speed of all infantry units in this army. Cool. And Sarpidon cannot move at all right now. <laughs> what about Atrax? He can. Okay, Atrax, you need to improve yourself. So should you be... Yes, a prayer to Apollo. Cool, because you're an archer and the archer output is great. So we need one more. We need Pilea. What about them? Lelegia Minor. Have I established some sort of relationship with them? No? I definitely need though, so, well, not... They're friendly to us. Yeah. 
sail to sail to um, to the island of Pilea, my friend. We need to make sure that you reach that point and then that we get to talk with the owners. Let's see what can be done. Sarpedon has an unassigned skill point. Or melee chariot. Yes. Though the war is not his own, but born of loyalty alone, this does not prevent the Lycian king from giving his all. Quite the opposite, in fact. This chariot enables him to effectively skirmish with a foe. Grants the chariot ancillary to the hero. Perfect. So he got a melee chariot. This most sturdy, well-made heavy chariot is capable of bearing the hero into combat and breaking through the toughest front line with relative ease. Woohoo! Well done, King Sarbidon. You got yourself a car. A bike. Of some sort. Okay. Stay there and reinforce yourself. For now. Mm -hmm. We'll carry on. Let's see what we can do with those uh, islanders of Pilea. Oh, the Thracians. They are giving us... Mm, let's propose a counter offer. I'm not interested in that at all. Let's make it... Take some time. 58 is better. Okay, let's make a non-aggression pact with a military access, and I'm gonna ask a lot of things from you, my friend. Can you make it 700? No. Five, 400, 200. 281. No, 76, 1, gotcha, gotcha, cool. That's better, don't you agree, my friend? Thank you, Kalhas. Ah, the Aegean Pelasgians are our friends. I don't know what to do with them. They, they look as if they're um, positively predisposed against us. and non-aggression as well. So what I'll be asking of you, my friend, is to give me not that, but to give me some sort of a tribute. You you won't you won't realize that it's a tribute for you, but I will. Cool. Gotcha. Yeah. You'll be giving that to me for 10 turns, I think. Didn't I click 10 turns? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I don't mind. Lost treasure found. A foreign envoy reports his agents have located an ancient Minoan treasure. You resolve to put this information immediately to good use, but how? Claim the treasure? Share with population? Let the envoy keep it. No. Give it to the people. So, there are some... You have all the riches a ruler could ever need. Let the people enjoy the spoils of this unexpected treasure. The population rejoices at your generosity, throwing fists in your honor. There are some rulers who hoard and covet their wealth, as if it was not dependent on the toil of their subjects, not so you, knowing that they are looked after by your hand. Your subjects rejoice at your generosity. Give it to the people. Give me some happiness. Your call is mine. It's quite disturbing that I can't talk to them at all. Great deeds await. New court. I am interested okay. in hearing what's going on. Okay. Nireus lele yem no. Okay. 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 Ok
king. Please join my confederation, really. This is an ultimatum. First of all, let me approach with my king, because I don't want to deliver an ultimatum without being able to support my claim. <laughs> it's gonna be on the next round, I'm afraid. So Velafkos is there, cool. Yeah. I think that I'm semi done, right? This is increasing. There are many things here that I can build. Sheltered sheep stands for sure. We got happiness. Good. What else can we build here? Hmm, can I build chariot assembly? Or Lumber warehouse? No. Hmm, food warehouse. Food warehouse is actually good. Hmm. And I can recruit more from here. I think this is kinda okay because it also gonna it will also give me 30 food per turn. Is it 30? Yeah. Let's build it. Food warehouse. Yes. More happiness. Cool. Then remove this and get the trade tithe. Hmm. I think that's going to be it for now, so. I'm gonna click next turn and see what will happen. Um, to be honest with you, I'm a bit lost in thought because I really want to make sure that I don't lose control of the administration of the provinces, as in I don't want to get a negative... Um, uh, I don't want to get something negative on the resources, I really want to go for the uh, positive output. So, non-aggression pact with Eleanor of Ethria. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Dracomachos gives me too much wood now, so counter offer. Military access as well, thank you. So let's discuss about some sort of barter agreement. Give me food as well. I want food for for 10 turns, but I want 140 or 70 or 90 or 250, 260, 290, 300, 320, 318, cool. For ten turns. For ten turns. Cool, so it's gonna be war I think. Who are they? Phidipos from Anemoesa. 
damn you! Auto resolve. I think we're gonna lose cross. Which makes me think that we need to uh, advance with Glavkos against them and get. Yeah, we lost cause. I'm slightly worried, but not that much. So I need to move Glavkos. He needs to actually march quickly. Not march, but... Because I want him to be able to recruit. Yes. Okay. Just move over there and recruit some people in your uh, some units in your on your way. Centaurs. Yes. And. Anatolian youths, something to fill our, up our ranks. No, nope. have Anatolian skirmishers. Cool. Okay, I need to deal with the with Pilea once and for all. Stop with Bilea. King Sarpedon is welcome. You either confederate with us, this is an ultimatum. We will settle this in the way of Ares. Let's settle let's settle this in the way of Ares. I'm sorry to do this. Master of the But I will do this. I will. I will try to siege you. Oops. Engage Let's encircle your settlement. Honor and duty. Quite impossible. Oh, we have center planes here and there. Oh. How many centaurs can we have? Ah, unit capacity plus two, plus four, which is good. Savage center warriors, yes, please. This will increase our happiness. I'm not interested in that now. Cool. Let's go with the gold vein, gold vein smelter. And I'm done. I'm gonna attack with King Sarpedon on the next turn head on and possibly end the Peleans once and for all unless they prove to be quite of a fearsome resistance.
Koki Hippolyte has ended the non-aggression pact with us. It feels as if Glavkos needs to... that Glavkos is at, the, at a precarious situation. So, Akis... What do they ask of me? Hell no. No, I don't want to deal with you right now. Okay, so... <laughs> we can't retreat. Can we sacrifice? Le le yeah, let's sacrifice. We got bad omens. Okay. Let's get a decisive defeat. Our trucks is gonna. It's definitely gonna. Was he killed? It looks like he was killed. He got a feathered Cretan hat. Ah, stolen by the enemy! Yeah, because he was killed in battle. And the priestess as well. Okay. This is quite bad now. But I really need to... To deal... I really need to address this with... Uh, Sarpidon. I mean, this will end now. It's quite worrisome, isn't it? <laughs> Let's encircle them. The balance of power is really against us now. So let's Thank encircle them. If Sarpidon loses, then we are pretty much screwed. Okay, so Glavkos, you need to. Okay. I can't see how this will help. It's gonna be. Do you know what? Let's address our friends. So the Aegean Pelasgians. Oh, they are here. The Dardanians, Hector of Troy, Ilium. Thing I'm gonna order them to traverse half of the map in order to get to Kos. Uh, but I need to move this guy here to Fiskos, and he's gonna recruit locally. Presumably, he's gonna uh, recruit some more centaurs. He can recruit up to two more centaurs, and. However, ah, it, it's gonna take two turns. So yeah, not not these centaurs, but it's gonna get some Anatolian skirmishers, and then after two turns, he's gonna get the centaurs, because I don't want to uh, fill up my ranks with more centaur scouts. Yeah, let's change this and let's um, upgrade this. What about this McCoy? Do we need the 12 influence? No, not yet. Well, we do have the resources, but I don't want to spend them right now. Okay, uh, plus, um, yeah. Plus, um, hmm. Huron's wisdom. Might in battle are the learned. Instruct our generals to study the teachings of the wise centaurs Huron. Oh, don't want to do this now. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the fleet footed royal recruits. And I think I'm done, but before I go, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up for now. I'm not gonna press the end turn, so it's 
we are in a precarious situation. I'm really feeling um, as if it might be our undoing. This battle might be our undoing. I think this is because I have become far too greedy. But hopefully the gods will still be on our side in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so as to be notified as a brand new video goes online. Thank you very much for your time and see you next time.